Well, this is a very interesting piece of retro computer tech, which I was thought you might like to have a look at. This is an IBM portable stereo CD-ROM drive. The model number is 1969-011. And this came on the market around about the mid 1990s. Now, CD-ROM drives were starting to appear in laptops about that time, but most of the ThinkPads of that period, certainly earlier ones anyway, did not have CD-ROM drives. So I guess this is a sort of external upgrade stopgap measure before uh, all of the laptops ThinkPad started to come with CD-ROM drives. Right, let's have a close look at this thing. On the front, you have this green button here, which is the eject for the lid. So you press that and the lid opens up like that to allow you to access the actual drive itself put discs in. You have transport controls, which is play and pause here, stop, track skip, left and right here. You also have a volume control and a lock switch, which simply locks this lid in position. There is a button with M on it here. This is the mode button. Now, what that does is this CD-ROM drive can switch between uh, times 20 or times eight. And the power saving mode is times eight, and that's what the mode switch is used for if you want to go into power saving mode while you're transferring data. The little display on the left gives you indication of tracks, battery level, as you can see this is flashing, which means the rechargeable battery is on its way out, and other such information. Now on the left hand side, we have the power switch here. We have three 3.5 mil jacks here. The first one is left speaker out. The center one is line in. And the last one is microphone. On the rear, you have the proprietary IBM connector for the cable which connects the drive to the PCMCA card. Next to that is a 15 pin D-type. This is actually a gain port. And then finally you have the external DC jack, which requires a 10 volt DC PSU, which unfortunately I don't have. Round on the right hand side, you have three more 3.5 mil jacks. This is the right speaker out. This is the line out, and that's a headphone jack. Right, let's have a look at the battery compartment on this. Uh, this device has three different power options. As I said, there's the external DC supply there. If we pop open the battery compartment, there you can see the supplied NICAD battery pack, but you can pull that out. It's not fixed. It comes out and once it's removed, you can put AA alkaline cells in here or rechargeables to power the unit, which is excellent. Really useful feature. Now, for a small device, it certainly has a lot of ports. And let's address that, those left and right speaker connections. Now, when this was new, it came with some extras, which included two pod light speakers, which were plugged directly into the drive. I'll pan up and you can see a printout I've done of the box top for the packaging for this device. So we go in, you can have a closer look at that. So there are those two pod-like speakers which would plug into the left and right speaker sockets. Now I sadly don't have those and I would love, love a set of those speakers. Um, so if anyone's got some out there and they don't want them, please get in touch. Anyway, there you can see them plugged into the drive. They could also be clipped to the side of the, mo of the monitor, the laptop's screen, and connected via cable. So it was just truly versatile. There we go. So in order to connect this to your laptop, you needed this uh, IDE PCMCIA card and the proprietary IBM cable. All of this was supplied with a drive when new. I fortunately had this that did, did come with this. However, I did have to do quite a bit of digging on the internet to find drivers. Um, but uh, although I don't have the actual IBM speakers, I do have some speakers we can plug into the line out so we can actually demonstrate this. Now, although this was designed primarily as a data CD-ROM drive, 
to be plugged into your ThinkPad laptop. You can use it as a standalone music CD player. It works perfectly well. I've got my trusty Creative Travel Sound uh, little speakers plugged into the line, line out on here. Now I don't have any royalty free music on CD. So what I'll do is I'll just play a, a few seconds just so that you can see, uh, you know, it in action. So we'll just use the transport controls. Works fine, absolutely perfect. So that's the music player part of it. Now what we'll do is we'll connect it up to a laptop and you can see the data transfer side of it. Okay, so we have the IBM portable CD-ROM connected via the proprietary cable into the PCMCIA IDE card into one of these small uh, sub-notebook ThinkPads. Uh, this is the IBM ThinkPad 240. I haven't done a video on this one yet, so you've got that to look forward to. Now, no, no, well, this is going to show up because the ThinkPad screen is not particularly... Uh, bright and, and it's difficult to get the lights right, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, so that's Windows Explorer open and we'll see if we can open up the... Uh... CD-ROM, which has got a paint job Pro CD in it. So we... And there you go. Paint Job Pro 5 in all its glorious 1990s splash screen. Let's get rid of that. And let's see if we can just open the CD ROM. There we go. Just closing on that, so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, that works absolutely fine. And obviously this would have been the main, main usage for this device, had you had a ThinkPad that you wish to connect it to. Let's come back out again. And there is the whole system connected together. So I just thought you would be interested, might be interested in this quick look at this amazing IBM portable CD from the mid 1990s. Um, they seem to be quite rare, this particular model. Uh, I was really lucky to get it. It does in fact come with this ThinkPad. So I was very lucky there. As I said, if anyone happens to have some of the speakers that go with this, those Podgel speakers that I showed earlier, then uh, I would be very interested. Um, so uh, if anyone's got some, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video on the IBM model 1969-0011 portable stereo CD-ROM from the mid-90s. Cheers.